Hey, Smart Pack fans. So Dr. Gray actually has a research study to share with all of you on grazing muzzles, which I think you'll all find interesting. But first, we have to do a little housekeeping. So we just finished filming our October episode, and we need your questions for our November episode. You can ask those questions uh, by commenting in this video or any of our social media channels or our form at smartpack.com slash questions. Just make sure you use hashtag video by October 10th to be eligible for those videos. Um, anything after, submitted after that will be for our future episodes. Right. So Dr. Gray, go take, ahead, take tell, us, tell okay. us about our research study here. So this was presented at this year's Equine Science Society Symposium. That's really hard to say. That was, that was it was in June in North Carolina. It's a group of like animal science professors, and they, they answered a research question. It was um, Amy Burke from the University of Maryland and her graduate student. The question was, um, isn't it mean to put a muzzle on a horse? I mean, we get that question asked a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so the, the result was um, muzzling for 24 hours was a good way to prevent weight gain and did not impose on welfare. Uh -oh. So they had two parts of the study. In phase one, they had six minis. <laughs> so <laughs> get that study image group. in your mind, right? And they were turned out 24-7 in adjacent quarter acre paddocks, grass paddocks. Okay. okay. And then they rotated them through three treatments. So one, of, one treatment was for 21 days each, no muzzle. Okay, no muzzle. And then muzzle for 10 hours and then muzzle for 24 hours a day, so okay. like all the time. Okay, and then they, they, they did them in pairs, and they rotate them through these treatments. Okay, what they found was, well, they videoed the behavior. Mm -hmm. and they measured body weight, uh, body condition score, crusty neck, and also the girth circumference. So these are all weight measures. Um, they gave a muzzle acceptability score. So did the mini seem to uh, adjust to the muzzle or try <laughs> well, to get it from, off its face? It, <laughs> from one to five, one being full acceptance okay. and five being full, complete Get this off reject. my face. <laughs> and then they, uh, they also measured heart rate and salivary cortisol, and those are indicators of stress. Yes. Okay. So what they found was that the horse minis, minis, they were muzzled for 24 hours. They lost weight, and they grazed more, and they rested less, and they had lower heart rates oh. than the other two groups. So not stressed. So less, not, not only not stressed, less stressed. Um, they exhibited no stereotypes like, like cribbing or weaving or those kind of things, uh, or any kind of frustration behaviors. Oh, huh. wow. So, all right, so phase two was the same design, but they group housed them. So instead of having adjacent quarter acre pastures, they had one acre and a half pasture and they put them all together okay and this time they looked at um, group herd behavior okay so uh, oh and they also added little mini Fitbits <laughs> they, they, they put GPS tracker on them so they could see how far they travel in the day that is amazing and it <laughs> I turns would love out to see what that looks like <laughs> that the um, the not muzzle the muzzle 10 hours and the muzzle 24 hours walked the same amount so not muzzle and muzzle 10 hours walk the same amount? All of them, missed, okay. yeah. You want to guess what that amount was? No. Four miles. Four miles? Exactly. On those little Four. legs? Yep. Wow. Yep. That puts me to shame. Um, <laughs> so the, the ones that were muzzled 24 hours a day, they lost weight. The other two groups both gained weight. Really? So the muzzle 10-hour group gained weight. Here's the theory why. When horses are muzzled for part of the day and then the muzzle's taken off, they mm. overeat. They compensate for that. That's like when I miss lunch and then like you exactly. go crazy at dinner. Exactly. So horses are the same. Um, the, the ones that were muzzled 24, they stood the most while the others trotted and cantered the most. And this is really interesting. The muzzled horses, while they couldn't perform the, the hierarchy behaviors, like, like, you know, there's just some things about the facial expression that they couldn't do, they did not lose their herd status. Really? Mm -hmm. So even though they lost that dynamic portion of it, they still maintain the mm -hmm. hierarchy. Yeah, so. So apparently it's all research. in our own head that we feel bad for putting the muzzles know. on the horse. It's really good for them. And they don't they don't mind it. So that is awesome. Well thank you so much for sharing yeah, that. And yeah. hopefully that answers some of your questions for you. We get asked all kinds of questions about grazing muzzles, so we can link those mm -hmm. in the descriptions for mm -hmm. previous videos on that. Yeah. So until next time guys, make sure to subscribe and have a great ride.